Welcome back everybody. It's about the uh, 18th of January I think today. We are uh, going to be doing some uh, focusing on brook trail today at my favorite spot. And um, this is what I've been fishing with recently. A remake of re-put together old MEPS. A little spawn ball in the back. It's been hitting really well. But uh, I've been making my own lures and I've made these all recently here. I've kind of been doing some testing on what works and what doesn't in the stream and I picked up my own blades and I'm hoping that a few of these will work out pretty well. I even hand tied some uh, nice little uh, coloring at the back of the hooks here on a few of these so I'm really pumped up to see how they go. I'm going to actually try one of these that's like a brook trout color right away. Alright, take five or six or something. Oh yeah, that one spins. Here we go. Danger, danger, danger fish. Here we go. Get over here. Ooh, that was pretty. I watched him come right up in front of me and get that. That is a pretty, pretty brookie. Just look at the teeth on him. Well, just fell in, snapped my pole in half. I think I filled my waders up a little bit. So that concludes your fishing adventures today. Jeez. Wow. Uh, I just fell in into my arm, but I may have got water in my waders. So, just a safety tip for you guys. I'm walking immediately back to the truck right now, not just because I don't have a pole, because it's broken in half, but because it's the right thing to do and I want to see my kids again. So, you don't want to get hypothermia. Not to be too extreme here about this situation, but just remember safety first. And also, I did tell my wife where I was going, so if something does happen, at least someone can find you or come help. Thanks for watching. We'll see if I get anywhere else today. I do have a backup pole, so let's, we'll find out. <laughs>